Sweet baby lies from the truth can never sever us Hide all the evidence, gay like degenerous Kotaku deep throat, white knight a twitch bitch Game that professionally declines your sandwich DEI cheeks clap, activist bitch slap Brain damage whole situationally handicapped Woke cult cry, bully straw man gaslight You opened up the box and I came like a Santa bite Better test a skill like Gimli Legolas Had to be me modern major more than Solas Queerosexual, gender mancer cross-dresser Address me by my pronouns, Mr. Doctor Professor Openly hostile victim bedwetter Invest in rope before they next newsletter Bootlicker crank stolen valor projecting Slice out your cancer, no more infecting DEI veto Taco, burrito, ori game, dev thano, snap some mosquito, poor homo journo, have me mistook, vocal minority got shill so shook. Concord's firewalk is Sony's 343 DEI woke flops on a stock drop spree Sweet baby itchy off the low low end of fentanyl Kim Belair terrify a game into the goodwill Terrify them with the possibility of what's gonna happen If they don't give you what you want oh, If they don't give you what you want I'm a terrorist, don't give me what I want Hello, beta testers. <laughs> like and subscribe to join over 107,000 Bodmon them of his silence. Get this to 4,000 likes and I'll get started on the next one. Everybody on the f***ing ground! That's right. That's right. That's right. How are you enjoying your coffee? What? Oh, you can't drink it down there? Yes! Not so easy to drink coffee on the ground, is it? That's what it was like for the marginalized. <laughs> the radical pronoun pushers, desperately trying to make games less profitable, are quick to dismiss anything they regard as invalid. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is precisely why attempting to steal Valor saying that you worked on a game that you didn't to bolster your claims on DEI as credible is funny when your credentials you yourself use to manage relevance happens to not be true. But instantly, you private your profile, you hide, you remove, you rewrite, you gotta spin that narrative that frames reality in a way that maybe makes you look like less of a liar. Over and over again, the activists demonstrate they can pass up no opportunity not to make everything about them. And even when they're aware, it'll negatively impact something like sales and, you know, make it difficult for everybody. If they could go back in time, they'd do it all the same again because nobody matters more than them, their message, and they are on the right side of history. And any who speak out in disagreement with the cult's mentality is instantly ostracized as a bigot. So as usual, when these pussies contact people's families and file frivolous lawsuits involving literal nut jobs and directing their audience at someone, it's no big deal and people in the industry will defend and damage control that, but the second anybody who doesn't agree with you does the exact same thing, it's harassment and a hate campaign. Chris Kindred of Sweet Baby Inc. was so Kotaku desperate for attention, they needed to make Toriyama's death about them, casting all this nonsense out based on their misunderstanding, cause what else is fucking new? You know what I mean? Failing to direct people to report Krabrutus' account, a fact activists deliberately left out of their coverage because they know that a story about them getting stung by bees sounds less stupid than Dick Sucker keeps kicking beehive and then gets what's coming to him. The beauty of rampant activism ruining video games because these entities can never separate themselves from their fucking work is the woke are not allowed to speak on it and it's making them upset that their normie audiences are understanding that they're shills. Immediately when he recognized the entity as a liar, they launched into a pathetic attempt to pivot the exchange into their struggle before being reminded that they did not work as they claimed on this game and shouldn't drag a studio into their sad struggle because it ain't a soapbox for your irrelevant victim bullshit and they locked their posts. 
Enough others will meticulously cover these dogs in their quest for kibbles and bits, beta tester. I seek to highlight the protection and defense of racist entities eager to harass people merely for making a list of SBI games. And now Sweet Baby Inc. has hidden that list on their page, no doubt claiming in their Ellen DeGeneres show that it's not the way that it looks. Don't look up anything. That's the way I want it. She actually says the phrase, I'd prefer you not know anything about about us good good as long as you know gaming shills pretend this is an exaggeration immediately after concord as hard as woke journalists pretend wukong space marine stellar blade uh, aren't getting the hogwarts legacy treatment it's not about what you like it's about how much money can be spent on a thing yeah you see mr beasties and he rents out a theater for his lunchly and and hawk to uh, on her talk to a uh, podcast is talking about that you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you like, right? So it's like they jump up on screen and go, you guys are gay, right? And we're just like, no. You know? I don't, you, I, I'm just going to stop buying this thing. You bigot. This is a warning to woke. Even while fighting a hurricane, I have to endure your cancer. And I do it gladly for a message I believe is bigger than you'll ever be. I'm not just observing people dismiss you and step over you like the turd that they need not sully their fucking shoes in. But I'm observing recognition that you're not even worth it. That you're doing more damage to yourself. Now that's what I call representation. And the hilarity of testers literally having to do nothing to win. Bitch, I need to bottle this shit. Enjoy it on another day. I could just read the heavily feminist scripts that you've been trying to pass off as dialogue in these woke-ass games like heavy censoring, filtering, excluding, comment locking, tone policing. It's exactly what's got culture focused on you, focused on what they can't say, asking the questions of why. This is what led culture to a revolution last time. You can tell after moments listening that you're waking up Carlins, who could lead the lost sheep in your fields of cringe to a promised land that they'll hate you when they realize you barred them from it. There are rumors of Concord coming back, and it's just too good to be true. The devs called us weirdos, claiming we're going to be running out of games to play as if only woke games exist. How many games have piled up that we want to get into with Path of Exile fast approaching that I'm hoping some of you are willing to play with me? The devs call us weirdos. They call us talentless freaks. They say that their disgusting designs are designed by committee and they're hoping to retool their woke pronoun slop in a fight with the male gaze as usual and somehow make money? Yeah, you're just going to be wasting more of it. This is worse than Morbius and your beta numbers should remind you of that. But reason is not what woke is about. So I look forward to seeing more of this. Supporters, sponsors, patrons, Fortnite and Steam gifters, I thank you. I I'm honored to share space with people as kind as you and promise that your investments will go right back into this channel. You, as, as normies as might be to say, do restore faith in humanity for me. And I hope to be able to pay that forward. What the hell is that, Dia? Hmm? Like a spaceship outside? Shit. <laughs> um, because, you know, look, man, I know you're seeing it too. They're really trying to inject the gay where it never was because they know they can never manage it with anything original so it's gotta be a swap just like the gender race uh, gender orientation it's gotta be the swap they'll kill 50 year old properties that stood the test of time and occupied young and old minds alone because they mad at dudes there's women on board now and i think should be more like me <laughs> whoa okay now the activists are desperate to desex everything make it tame and lame just like south part said they gotta pander and inject dead propaganda i'm gonna get dia the first ascendant skins that she wants and you know i'm gonna make i'm gonna make direct eye contact with the, the collapsing western just nightmare while i do it 
because Pretty and Titty are not the end of the world. Genshin crosses six billion, whether you're down with Genshin or not. Nah. You know, watching that game slowly evolve, like I played Wuwa, and to see this rollerblading girl up the side of a cliff, you know, these are these are like answers. The same way you used to see Fortnite kind of take some stuff from other games. I love it. Six billion on jiggly titty waifus that are frequently bouncing in and out of the minds and memories of young people in stark contrast to the forgettable, forced, ugly, woke slop that is being forced... But no matter how much money you throw at it, you can't make people like it. Okay? So, for me, the funniest part of this is how many people aren't allowed to talk about it because of the hand that they're sitting on that puppets them. And even though they may end up being forced to talk about it, you know they're going to delicately navigate pertinent information, the kicking of the beehive before the sting, because they got to protect their early access and their friends. It's not about being a good human as they love to preach. That's the thing. You don't have a problem with racism, you fucking shills. You got a problem with people you disagree with. So you frame them as racist when they aren't even. My brothers are listening. I don't care where they from, what skin color they are. And that's why the most powerful thing we can exercise is restraint around you people. You people. I love you beta testers. And I don't have to tell you because I'll show you.